Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Today, we are picking up pretty much just where we left off. We are still working through quests. Um, and right now we're going to do the ceremony, so we need to go back to the Moana realm and find some conks. So let's go do that. So we can, and I, we need these leader shards here. Okay. Hi there, pal! Don't need any of these. Not right now, at least. Goodbye. Okay, so let's travel. Moana. <laughs> okay, so we need to find cons. Here's one. Right, we have one, we need two more. Really? Two? And three. Sweet. Craft the honored place. Okay. gonna say that was taking a very long time to load let's see craft the honor place where is this thing gonna be Aha! Alrighty then. Place the honored place near your house. Hmm. Let's do it here. Let's place it here. That's pretty out of the way. It shouldn't cause any problems there. Talk to Moana. Is everything ready? There's only one thing left to do. Put the leader shards on the honored place. Okay. There we go. Hi! Wow, that felt really important. Wait, did you see that? A new constellation appeared in the sky. I guess it represents what we've done together and our leadership. That's amazing. Here, I want to give you something as part of the celebration. Okay. And to make sure you're ready for more adventures in... Blah. To make sure you're ready for more adventures in the future. So good! Okay, so that was her last friendship quest. And there are no constellations out right now. Alright. Anyway, that was a very quick finish. Now let's see what's next on our quests. Let's... Okay. So, I've spoken with Remy already for this quiz, for this quest. Um, and I have received the food items, but let's read this. It says, Woody is a bit embarrassed. He tried to make himself useful and be a good neighbor by helping Remy prepare some meals at his restaurant. Oh, stitch. But cooking is a little harder than he expected. He needs your help. Okay. And those meals are right out here. So 
melty garlic a lot cheesecake about this valley that reminds me and of home. gooey paste. All right, let's oh. see. That tasted awful. Return to Remy. Everybody's in the shop. Just go around the bush. Over here! Bonjour. So what did you think of Woody's meals? A minute of your time? The good news is, I survived. <laughs> But if you had to eat any more of it, you'd wish you hadn't, right? Mm. If there's anyone around here who can help Woody fix this disaster, it's you, Ducky. Hey, maybe you'll become his gusto. Au revoir! Talk to Woody. Good thing he's right here. Come on. What did Remy say? He had me do a little taste test on the meals you cooked. They weren't that bad. Thanks, partner, but you don't have to lie to make me feel better. I could tell they were pretty horrible. Cooking for toys is pretty simple. Everything's made of plastic, and if it looks good, it's good. But the meals didn't look good either. But they did look like fun, so I was hoping they'd be fun to eat. Hey, you can't blame me. I'm a toy. I haven't got any taste buds. I can't tell if it's bad. Let me show you how it's done. Then you'll be such a good cook you won't even need the you won't even need to taste the other dishes. That would be great. Then we can give whatever we cook t together to Remy to help him out. He's still got a lot of orders to fill. Here, these were the recipes he asked me to prepare. All right, we got two new recipes. Cook the following meals, vegetarian pizza and a cheesecake. Let me get in here. I don't really need to learn them, but they're like sitting in my inventory, so I'll do that. Okay, Donald. Have a good day. And instead of going to our home kitchen, we will go to the restaurant. All right. We need a cheesecake and a vegetarian pizza. So let's see, let's go dessert first. See, cheesecake. Pizza. All right, let's see. Okay. All right. Bring the meals to Remy. Ugh, little fly. Alright, alright, alright. Back to the shop we go. Give these to Remy. Whoa, did Woody cook all of this? Gusto was right. Anyone can cook, even Woody. Yup, it was all Woody. Sure, but something tells me he learned a lot from you. 
I hope he won't let one bad experience discourage him from trying again. Uh-huh. Thanks, Ducky. Once again, you've helped save my restaurant. You're the best. Au revoir. All right, talk to Woody. Thanks for your help, Ducky. I don't know what I would have done without you. Turns out helping villagers is more complicated than I thought. You also mentioned trying to help Goofy. What happened with that? Oh, right. The other disaster. Well, it'll be easier to show you. Follow me. We're going to Dazzle Beach. Okay. Wow, hello there. This is it. This is where I almost got dragged into the water by a fish. You see, after the whole cooking disaster, I tried so I decided to try something simpler, like home delivery. Goofy was organizing a dinner with friends. He wanted to make crispy cod, so he needed cod and wheat. Turns out hurting fish is way harder than hurting toy cattle. I cast my line out and before I knew it, I was water skiing behind a cod. Sounds like you invented a fish rodeo. Huh? Oh, yep, that's pretty much what I did. So I guess we'll have to fish some cod for Goofy. Did you get him the wheat? Have you seen the size of those plants? They're twice as big as I am. I couldn't harvest and carry them. Now Goofy hasn't got anything to make his dinner with. If we don't get, if we don't get all of this to him soon, don't worry, I'll show you how it's done. Let's get Goofy his cod and wheat. So long, partner. Catch some fresh cod. That's not cod. No, we'll get some cod out here. is always useful, but I just want the damn fish. Come on now. I get cod when I don't need it.
And now we talk to Woody. Alright, where is he? What is he doing? Where is he going? I don't think he knows. Let's see if we can catch him from here. Over here, I need some help. Yeah. Well, hello there. Whoa, those cod are huge. No wonder I couldn't catch any of them on my own. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry all those to Goofy. Not unless you've got some kind of wagon I can use. How about you take a break while I carry all of this to Goofy? I'll meet you at your carousel after. Sure, Ducky. I really appreciate the help. Thanks. Goofy. On the other side of the map. Hey there, pal. Hello, about a chat. How's it going? Gosh, Ducky, this is exactly what I need to make my dinner tonight. Thanks, pal. How'd you know? Don't thank me. Thank Woody. I did the fishing and harvesting, but he, uh, supervised. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I was getting kind of worried I wouldn't be able to serve my guests crispy cod. But you two sure came through for me. I'll have to invite you and Woody over sometime soon. Thanks again. Now we go to the other side of the map. Well, hello there. Looks like you saved the day, partner. Who knew fishing and harvesting crops could be so dangerous? Mm. Sigh. I don't know what to do now. I really want to help out, but the valley is a lot bigger and more complicated than a kid's room. I get overwhelmed sometimes too, you know. And then what? Thanks, it's nice to know I'm not alone. Say, instead of you trying to help everyone else, why don't I help you? Is there anything you need? Well, now that you mention it, yeah. There's my carousel. Mr. McDuck dragged out of the It's the carousel- it's my- <sighs> words, you know, words. <laughs> There's my carousel Mr. McDuck dragged out of storage for me. I've been wondering about it. I know it's got the horses and the whole western motif, but it seems like kind of a funny place for me to live, doesn't it? <laughs> I thought I would have been more comfortable in a nice ranch place set or a sheriff's office made out of cardboard. Mr. McDuck said there's something special about it, something magical. Duh. Huh. Well, if there's something special about it, I can't remember what. And it sure has seen better days. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take a look. There's a bunch of piles of junk inside. I tried to clear them out myself, but they're too big for me. I hope you clean up the carousel. Maybe we can figure out what's so special about it. Let's get started. That's great! Clean up the trash in the carousel. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, we got memory. Okay. That's cute. Oh, 
Ahoy! Am I glad to see hey you! Hey now, I remember. This carousel used to be one of the nicest places in the village. Yeah. If anyone was feeling sad, they could always look at the lights and they'd feel better. It made you feel like a kid again, just for a few minutes. Oh yeah! This is it, Ducky. This is what I need to do. Oh, I'll restore yeah. the carousel and that'll help everyone in the valley. <laughs> Gotta say, it sure is nice to have a purpose around here. You don't need to have a purpose, you know. Just being here is enough. Well, that's kind of you to say, but I'm feeling pretty good about this idea. Thanks for helping me find this project. I just need some time to make a list of what needs to be fixed. I'll tell you when I'm ready to start working on it. This is going to be great. Yeehaw! Thanks for stopping by. That's not what I meant to do, but sure. Howdy, Ducky. Are you ready to help me with my big project? I want to start fixing the carousel so I can help make folks around here even happier. Can't wait to get started. Great, because I'm going to need you to do most of the heavy lifting since, well, I'm a toy. Everything I've ever fixed up till now could be patched with gum or a little bit of tape, so I have no idea where to start on something this big. <clears throat> Sorry? Let's go see Kristoff. He's handy with tools. Good idea. I hear I hear he survived in the Forest of Valor when he was trapped by the Nightthorns. He must have learned to make the best of whatever he had on hand. Plus, he's always working on that sled of his. A bit of a fixer-upper. And we gotta go see Kristoff. Let's, let's do that. Okay. Oh, Kristoff, where are you? He's with Olaf. Um, so I'm just gonna go this way. Hi, may I? Can we talk? Hey, Ducky, good to see you. What's up? Woody and I are trying to fix his carousel, and we could use your help to figure out where to start. I'd be happy to help. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came to me. I've seen how worn down the carousel looks, and I wanted to do something, but I didn't see exactly... I didn't exactly know how to approach it. It would have been a little odd for me to just show up with a bunch of planks and nails. It would have been a nice gesture, <laughs> I guess, but a lot of people might take it the wrong way. Anyway, I've had some time to think about how I fix the carousel, and you're going to need a repair kit. You can make them from everything nowadays. Boats, sleds, why not a carousel? Okay, I'm listening. I jotted down a few ideas. You'll see, it's pretty simple. If you gather these materials, you should be able to craft the carousel repair kit in no time. Bye. And now we can craft the repair kit. Okay. I believe I left a craft table over here. Yes. Super useful. Okay. Carousel repair kit. Alright, now we gotta give the kit to Woody. It's almost like we stepped inside the body. Right? My goodness. They're just all over the place now. Where are you, Woody? Let's get this. Boy, am I glad to what see you! What you got there? Ta-da! One carousel repair kit that even a toy can use. You'll see, renovating is fun. You know, I never thought a grown-up could have so much fun building stuff. <laughs> but you've really taught me a thing or two. Come on, let's go fix that carousel. 
Thanks. Let's see what I can do with this carousel repair kit. Would you look at that? Yeehaw! Well, hey now, the carousel looks great. Now we're just now we've just got to find a way to get those lights back on. When it comes to these kind of subjects, I know just the person, or I mean, the robot to ask. I'll go talk to Wally. Good idea, Ducky. Maybe he's got some spare parts lying around. Well, goodbye for now. Okay, where are you, Wally? Um, I'm just gonna walk it. Yeah, he's at his home. Wally. Ha! Huh. Hey, Wally. I'm trying to help Woody fix the carousel, and I was wondering if... Whoopee! Earth. No, not Earth. Directive. Light. I want to make... Woody happy. Oh, ta-da! Huh, what are these? Oh, fuse box blueprints. Thanks, Wally. Oh, would you like to do something together? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wally, directive Earth. Yes, Earth. Very good. The planet we both come from. Oh, wait. Do you mean I need to go back to where I first met you to find the components? Earth. Okay. So I'll need to gather some materials in your realm, then craft the fuse box. Thanks, Wally. Whoopee! <laughs> okay, let us find some components here. Okay, that's a replacement fuse. Alright, electrical component. Fuse. Electrical component? No, that's a fuse. Where on earth? And a component. And now we go back. Craft the fuse box. Excuse me, uh, could you come here for a second? Give him the fuse box. Well, hello there. Hey, howdy, hey, Ducky. You whipped up this fuse box pretty fast. Yeah! I can't wait to see the lights back on the carousel. Come on, let's go make some light. Thanks. Brace yourself, Ducky. This is going to be incredible. It sounded like an explosion inside the carousel. Let's hope nothing important, Brooke. Come on, let's go take a look. Well, goodbye for now. 
Oh boy. Okay. Talk to Woody. Thanks for stopping by. Well, the photo booth and the strength testing machine are both smoking a little bit, but it looks like the biggest problem is the claw machine. It's completely busted. There are claw machine pieces and alien toys scattered everywhere. I'll pick everything up. Thanks. Oh, the squeak is great. Alright, now we bring it all to Hey Woody. there, deputy! I've got a job for you! Boy, am I glad to see you! Thanks for helping me clean that up, Ducky. Though something's still not right. Gasp, the aliens! I could swear there were more of them in here. I bet the explosion scared him, and now they're somewhere out there in the village. We need to find them. You're right, but I'll try looking for them on my own first. They know me, so I should be able to coax them out of hiding. Thanks for your help, Ducky. I'll let you know if I need a hand finding our little green friends. Wow. Okay. What are we doing next? Um, let's check out this one because I have the spell book. The tattered old spell book seems more like Something Merlin would own, but the tidy notes in the margins are unmistakably in Minnie's handwriting. You'll need to ask her why she was reading this to find out more. We found a tattered old spell book with sticky notes throughout covered in Minnie's handwriting. Okay, let's let's go grab that. That is at home. Let me get rid of all this extra fish. Hi there, pal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Sweet. I'll take the extra. Uh, dreamily. Okay, let's go find Minnie. She is across the meadow. She's like way back there. Let's give her the spell book. I'm so glad you came by. Hey Minnie, I found this book lying around in the plaza. I thought it might have been Merlin's, but it's got notes in your handwriting stuck inside it. Ah. Oh, thank you. I've been looking for that everywhere. What were you going to do with the spell book? Did Mickey cause another broom mishap? <laughs> Oh no, hee <laughs> hee. I think Mickey learned his lesson about that the first time. I borrowed some books for Merlin because, well, I wanted to find out everything I could about what happened to me. What happened to you? You mean when you... When I disappeared to the here and there. Oh, uh, itchy scum. <clears throat> I've been having some trouble sleeping. I'm just so worried it might happen again. No, oh, she looks so sad. I'm sorry you're feeling that way. Oh, thank you, Ducky. But it's not me I'm worried about now. Oh. If I could disappear, then anyone could. Sometimes I look at the other villagers and I'm frightened they're starting to disappear right before my eyes. Oh. 
I just know there has to be an answer somewhere in Merlin's library. There must be some way he we can make sure no one ever disappears again. But I can't make heads or tails of any of these books. I'll go talk to Merlin and see if he has any ideas. We have to solve this. I want you to feel safe here, Minnie. You're so kind, Ducky, and I do, mostly. Oh. I was trying to figure all this out without bothering Merlin, but it, you're probably right. We should ask him for more help. Oh. I'll keep trying to see if there's anything in these books that might be a clue while you talk to Merlin. Goodbye! Alright. Where is he? Right there. We have work to do. Ah, Ducky, I believe I know precisely why you've come to speak to me today. It's Minnie, isn't it? She's gotten herself in quite a jumble, worrying she might disappear again, hasn't she? It's Minnie, all right. She asked me to come talk to you. We need a wizard for this. Hmm, well, yes. I, uh, I suppose you do for matters such as this. Is there anything in your magic books that might help? Actually, I've given it, I've given it quite a lot of careful thought. Hello, Astrid. And I think I know precisely how we can fix this predicament. We'll use the most powerful kind of magic there is. First, you need to speak to some villagers and ask them what they like best about Minnie. Hmm. Maybe I should ask Elsa, Anna, and Moana. Ah, yes. And listen closely, this part is key. Once you've spoken to them, you must bring me some dream shards. Ugh. With all that, we can sort out Minnie's dilemma. Or at least, I very much hope we can. Well, hey, run along now. All right. Six dream shards, and we gotta talk to Elsa, Anna, and Moana. Okay, they're not hovering up here. Elsa and Anna are in the shop. Or Anna and Moana. Okay. Oh, Anna? I have an idea. Hey Moana, quick question. What do you like best about Minnie? Huh? About Minnie? Hmm. Well there's oh. Or how about Oh, I can't forget. I've got it. What makes Minnie the most special is her strength of heart. No matter what storms come Minnie's way, she's just she just hoists the sails and keeps going. She never gives up. And she knows everyone in the village, so she knows so many great stories. <laughs> Not that I think about it, she kind of reminds me of my grandma Tala. Great. Let's talk later. Hi. Uh-oh, you have that look on your face, Ducky. <laughs> that I have something strange and possibly magical to ask you about, so don't ask too many follow-up questions. Look. It's definitely magical, but only a little strange. Oh, so close. Well, let's hear it. How can I help? It's simple. Just tell me what you like best about Minnie. Um... What I like best about Minnie? Oh... Hmm. That's a tough one. There's so much to like. To love, really. Aww. I guess if I have to narrow it down, I'd say that what makes... That what I like best about Minnie is how she always makes me smile. She's so kind, but also so funny. She always notices the little things around here. <laughs> she makes me laugh almost as much as Olaf does. Oh. Did that help? That was perfect, Donna. Thanks for your help. Remember, I believe in you. Okay. Now we need to find Elsa. Sorry, but could you help me? Is there something I can help you with, Ducky? I need you to tell me the thing you love most about Minnie. Something really special and unique about her. Yes. 
I think I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> when you talk to Minnie, you know that you just know that she's truly listening to you. She gives wonderful advice, but really, it's the listening that sets her apart. Huh? Is that all you needed? That's it. Thanks, Elsa. You've been a big help. Goodbye. Now we must go collect. Six dream shards. Okay. And now we go back to Merlin. Give him the shards. Oh, hello! I spoke to the other villagers and gathered gathered these dream shards. Is there anything else we need for the spell? Huh? Spell? What spell? <laughs> oh, oh dear. I'm. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've had a bit of a misunderstanding. Uh -huh. I merely need these dream shards for my research. Terribly sorry. Uh, I thought no. you understood. Oh no. I'm afraid there isn't any sort of spell or enchantment that will solve Minnie's problem. But there must be some way to help her. <laughs> oh yes, not to worry. There certainly is. You see, what protects Minnie, what protects all of us here, is an altogether different sort of magic. <laughs> Friendship, love, care, that's what binds this valley together. And kind words and small favors are the source of all its magic. Minnie simply needs to be shown that spirit will never leave this place. So that's why you wanted me to talk to some of the other villagers. If I tell Minnie what they said, Excellent. it will remind her of the love that binds us all together. And that everyone is safe here so long as we never forget it again. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Merlin. I tip my hat to you. And now you we talk to me. Oh, perfect. Hello, oh, Minnie. Could you please help me? If I can get around the street. This is an awkward hello. talking spot, but we're going to do this. Oh, hello, Ducky. Was Merlin any help sorting out this magical muddle? Hmm. The books he lent me had so much interesting information, but nothing that will help us. He helped put some things in perspective. Oh good, Merlin's so helpful that way. What did he tell you? He told me that there's a magic more powerful than any simple spell holding this village together. It's a kind of magic that runs on... caring for one another. Really, that does spell like a... that does sound like a very special kind of magic. Merlin got me to talk to some of the other villagers, so we could remind you how important you are around here. Elsa told me about how you're always there to listen to her whenever she needs a friend. And Anna told me that nobody can make her laugh like you do. Except maybe Olaf. And Moana, she said that what she loves best about you is your strength of heart, and that you never give up, no matter what. Oh my, I don't know what to say, Ducky. That is so sweet. Ooh. And I'm very grateful, but how does that stop us from disappearing into the here and there? Because that's the magic, Minnie. We'll never disappear again as long as we... Never stop caring for each oh. other. Oh, of course. It's so simple. I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't see it before. Mm. Well, I guess I, could I can return these books to Merlin. As long as you and I are here, I know everything will be okay. <laughs> Because I'll always make sure everyone knows how loved they are. And I'll always... Protect the valley. I know you will. 
Oh, I just thought of something else. I was so worried about everyone disappearing, I didn't realize how much clay I asked you to bring me to build that rusted clock tower. Was it too much? <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Phew. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble for you to gather all that. To thank you, I found some clay myself. I want you to have it so you can build whatever you like. And Uncle Scrooge says he's so happy that the rustic clock tower is helping keep time in the village that he wants to give you a little reward too. Here you go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do a quick backpack empty. I don't even know what all is in there except for clay. Oh, okay, okay. And then we got night shards. So many night shards. And bowl. <clears throat> all right everybody that's gonna be it for this episode we're slowly chipping away at all the quests and i feel like we'll be caught up fairly soon so i'm looking forward to that if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to to drop a like because it really really helps out the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode